out. Ugh! Only a couple of my old SAT and AP books for this? Yes, yes I did. Am I American? No. My parents just really wanted me to go to the States for university. But joke's on you parents, I'm still here! Hey y'all! Today I'm doing the high school book tag, which Joey from Books from a Virgo both tagged me in and created. I am no longer in high school, I graduated last year, I just finished my first year of university uh, in April, but these are still some very fun prompts that I am very excited to get into. Question one is first day. What is a book that you read near the beginning of high school? And for me, that is the Maze Runner series. Um, the beginning of high school is when I like properly got into Tumblr and I was uh, fully in the Maze Runner fandom. Um, and I think, at least I know I read The Death Cure kind of in October, November of um, grade nine. I'm not sure when I read the other two books. So one or all the books of the Maze Runner series is my answer to this question. Question two is required reading. What is a book that you enjoyed that was required reading? And um, in grade 10, English Town Honors, we were, uh, we were assigned a very strange book. It's called The Elegance of the Hedgehog. It is translated from French and um, it's a very strange book, but I did actually enjoy reading it. Uh, the two main, it's about two like main characters, and they're both like eccentric. They're both kind of outsiders. One of them is like an old lady who's like the landlord who has to act like she like doesn't care, and then the other is a twelve-year-old girl who wants to set her building on fire. Um, so it's a very strange premise. It is a weird book to get into, but it is the diaries of these two people and then them eventually meeting. It's very strange, but I do recall enjoying this book. Uh, any specific details? I do not remember at all, but I do remember enjoying it. Question number three is Freshman Trash Day, which I genuinely have no idea what that is. Is that just like an American thing? Is that just not a Western Canada thing? Like someone tell me what that means, please. But the prompt is a book you thought was trash. Um, and I'm just going to go into one of the books that I have disliked since starting booktube, um, which Eleanor and Park was, haha, <laughs> uh, I am, I do not like that book. I am not excited for the movie. It is, uh, <laughs> it is not great. Question four is girlfriend, boyfriend, a bookish crush. And I'm going back to the Maze Runner series because I was like obsessed with Newt from the Maze Runner for, for, ever in high school. Oh my god. I loved his character. I loved Thomas Brody Sangster. Like, yeah, so, um, we're going with Newt. Question number five is essays, a book you thoroughly enjoyed that was over 600 pages. And for me, I'm going to my trusty The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. This is a classic novel. Um, the copy I have, let's see, um, is, okay, well these are notes, so if it's just the last page. It is 1,243 pages, and uh, this was my favorite book of all time, but I just read Daisy Jones and the Six, and that has pretty much ruined me for any other book. But um, yeah, this is hefty, and I think it was published in like a gazillion volumes originally. Um, but yeah, it is one of my favorite books of all time. Question number six. I just realized a bunch of you aren't gonna know what that means, because I did that once to my friend and he didn't know what that meant. Um, I guess Chinese are just Asian thing to do, six, seven, eight, nine, um, which I guess other people don't do for numbers. Um, but question six is, underage drinking, a book that you secretly enjoyed. I don't think I have a book that I secretly enjoyed. Like, I think if I like a book, I just tell people I like it. Like, if you ask my best friend, Emily, if I, if there's a book I'm reading that I enjoy, I will not stop talking about it. I'm very, very obnoxious with books I enjoy. So I don't think there's a book that I've secretly enjoyed. I'm trying to think if there's anything like, oh. Can I just go back to The Maze Runner? Because I mean like, I really enjoyed it when I first read it. I have not read it again. Maybe I won't like it now. But also the stuff with James Dashner um, that is, you know, not great. So that. Question seven is APs, which, oh god, APs, um, but it is a book that was daunting to read. One of them, for sure, The Count of Monte Cristo. Again, I am rereading it right now because I kind of want to make sure Daisy Jones and the Six is cemented as my all-time favorite book, but um, it is chunky, and the English is translated, and it's old, and um, it's translated from French, and the writing is very, very tiny. Um, I don't know if you can see that at all, but it is tiny print. So, um, this is definitely daunting to read. 
Another book I'm trying to read right now is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Um, and this is just, again, it's old English. It's not, you know, it's not the Count of Monte Cristo long. It's 400 something pages. Um, but it is just still old English. It's long, small print. It's hard to get into. Um, right now I'm like nine chapters in and it's like, today I went to school. It was cold. And I'm like, for fuck's sake, it's been like six chapters of I went to school, it was cold. Um, so, um, the other thing though, I think is because with reading classics, I'm always worried, because I, I do really enjoy reading classics, I'm just always worried that I will hate it, and then, um, you know, it'll, it, it'll suck to hate, I feel like it'll suck to hate a classic, because then I have to have, like, back that up against hundreds of years of people enjoying these books. So, um, I think that's another thing with classics, because it's just, they're really daunting to read, not just because they're long and old and stuff, but just because I'm like, what if I hate it? Like, what if, I'm just the one outlier here. That feels like it would be awful. Number eight, clubs. A book that you read for a book club that you really enjoyed. And I don't think I've ever really been part of a book club except for Battle of the Books in middle school, which essentially was a trivia competition about books. And you would have a list of six books, you'd have teams of three, and then you'd have to um, answer questions about these books, like what is this person's second grade teacher, what they, did they get for their ninth birthday, how do the hover word boards work in like the uglies, stuff like that. Um, and I remember vividly two books that I really enjoyed. One was The House of the Scorpion by Nancy Farmer, which I just reread, which is about um, the clone of a drug overlord and growing up, uh, you know, as a clone and being treated horribly, but also knowing that you are the clone of this drug overlord, so people have to actually like treat you well. And also finding out like the fact, like what clones are actually used for in this world, stuff like that. It's actually a pretty good adventure book, but it's also has a lot of moral questions. I really enjoyed it. It's a middle school read. It's pretty fast. These are both middle school reads. This is a middle school competition. What am I saying? Uh, and the other book was Out of My Mind, which I, I don't know why, like these two books specifically have stuck with me. Out of My Mind is about a girl who has cerebral palsy, I believe, I think. Um, don't quote me on that because I haven't read this in at least eight years. But um, she can't um, walk and she also can't talk. And essentially one of her tutors knows she is brilliant and smart and stuff. And she finds these uh, these like machines that can help her talk and she actually gets to start showing that she's really smart and she gets to go to a trivia competition and uh, basically is one of the reasons her team wins but then she still has a lot of prejudice that she deals with because she is disabled and also because people just see her and they immediately think she's not going to be smart. But yeah, Battle of the Books are, and those two books are the ones that have stuck with me. Question number nine is Graduation, a book that made you feel accomplished by reading it. And for me, that would be The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. Oh boy, I read that I think in like a day or two and it took me like a solid 10 hours. Um, it was a very, very long book to read. And I did feel really accomplished by finishing it. I was very disappointed that I didn't enjoy it that much, but I did feel accomplished when I finished reading it. I feel like I always tag with the same three people in my tag videos, so I'm just gonna say if you wanna do this tag video, go forth and do it. I'm tagging anyone who wants to do it. I don't know anymore. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you sometime. Goodbye.